You can land your first actuarial job even if you're starting with no experience, no internship, and just pure determination. I'm going to show you how based on my eight years of helping aspiring actuaries do just that. By the way, some of the experience that you already have might actually count. I've got a quick quiz coming up in this video that's going to help you figure that out. If you do this right, you could be analyzing trends, pricing risk, updating models, in other words, doing real actuarial work in just one year from now, maybe even less. So let's get into it. Here's a moment of truth. Most recruiters won't even glance at your resume if you haven't passed an exam yet, or at least made significant progress towards passing one. If you haven't started studying, then that is going to be your first move. Everything that I mentioned in today's video can be done, and actually I recommend you do do it while you are studying for an exam. Now, quick warning, studying for actuarial exams is completely different than how you studied for your college exams. I have seen aspiring actuaries waste many, many months doing it the wrong way. That is why I've put together an actuarial study strategy guide, which you can get for free right down below in the description of this video. Okay, so passing exams is just the top of the iceberg. It's what everyone talks about. But in order to get hired into an entry-level actuarial role, you need to be a top candidate with a strong success stack. Now, what is a success stack? Well, basically, this is a collection of practical qualifications that's really going to boost your chances of getting noticed by employers. These are things that are going to help you be job ready and perform well on the job. And therefore, a lot of employers really want these things. A success stack really helps you to overcome any shortcomings or weaknesses that you have in your qualifications, including no experience or internship. But the real point I'm trying to make here is that you have to do this success stack stuff while you are studying for exams. Otherwise, it's gonna take way longer than a year to get your first job. So now I'm gonna dig into three pieces of the success stack that are really crucial for someone that doesn't have experience already. The most powerful one is technical skills, specifically Microsoft Excel and a programming language. Now think about it for a second. If you are someone trying to break into a highly analytical field without any experience, how do you prove that you're capable? Well, by showing, not by telling. Uh, nope, telling an employer that you are decent with Excel because you once created a color-coded budget is not going to cut it. Members of our Actuary Accelerator community have completed actuarial Excel projects that actually get recruiters talking. For example, there's a project where members have to create an annuity illustration tool for various different payment plans. Completing this project demonstrates that they are capable of using Microsoft Excel and programming the tools, and it also proves that they are capable of thinking about how to structure a whole project from scratch based on instructions. Not only that, but they're also learning tons of actuarial terminology, which is great for any actuarial job. I'll get to that. By doing these types of projects, it means that you're not waiting around hoping that an employer will give you some experience. Instead, you are intentionally creating it for yourself and it's going to really blow up your resume. Blow up your resume? Yeah, I guess it'll blow up your resume. Okay, so once you've got the skills, go use them in the real world. Even part-time work, volunteer experience, Freelancing can really help to prove that you can get real results with your skills, and that's gonna really boost your credibility. As an example for you, I was able to practice and really get good with Microsoft Excel and programming in my bookkeeping position at my dad's welding business. So before I got my first actuarial job, the biggest project that I had done was one where I automated the invoicing process to really reduce the amount of time it took to create an invoice, but also significantly reducing the number of errors that would happen. And more recently, actually late last year, I did a big project in Excel where I was automating the process that happens at quarter end and year end to significantly reduce how long it takes to complete the taxes for the end of the quarter or the year. And this probably saves me about 30 hours per year. And that means that I'm probably cutting about half of my hours out each year, which is crazy because I actually don't get paid for that job anymore. I do it for free. So fewer hours is way better. Basically, I've halved my workload and doubled my laziness. Highly recommend.
And another really important thing to mention here is that 86% of entry-level actuarial job posts specifically ask for someone with excellent communication skills. So practicing that on the job while you're working on these Excel projects or these programming projects can really make a huge difference. Communication is so important that it's one of the things I've included in the quick quiz that I've got coming up really soon for you. Okay, so I was recently doing one of our Boost Your Future sessions in the AAC, and one of the members specifically said that he was going through the interview process with several different employers, and he was noticing that he has been asked about actuarial concepts in depth, despite these being entry-level roles that he's interviewing for. So things like statistical credibility and actuarial modeling. So another really good thing to do, especially if you don't have any experience, is to learn the language of the profession. Having a high-level exposure to things like actuarial terminology and insurance knowledge is something that AAC members prioritize, and it's something that's 100% learnable and fairly easy to do too. It's like Duolingo, except instead of learning Spanish, Spanish, you're learning how to speak insurance nerd. Imagine being the candidate that can confidently talk about long-term care insurance or rate making despite having no experience. That's going to be memorable. Okay, so now let's find out if the experience you already have is good enough for an actuarial role. Is it related? If you answer yes to three or more of these questions, then I would say your experience or work history is related. So tell me, in your previous work experience, have you used Excel or programming in any job or project? Have you been exposed to insurance, business, or data concepts? Have you used data to make decisions or solve problems? Have you had to communicate technical ideas to a non-technical audience? Have you worked with financial reports, budgets, or other numerical reports? Okay, so if you scored a three or more, that's awesome. It means that you have something to work with. You may be able to to rewrite or reframe your previous experience into stuff that actuarial employers will really appreciate. Even if you scored a one or a two, well, now you know where you need to work on. If you want an example of someone that has done this, make sure you go check out the success story that I did with Derek. He was a member of the Actuary Accelerator community, started as a beer brewer, passed some exams, built a strong success stack, and now he's working in an actuarial role. I'll link to that video down below in the description. But just because you may not have experience now doesn't mean that you can't go out and get some. I actually highly recommend you do because this can really, really help your qualifications and your job readiness when it comes time to apply for actuarial roles. Or you also could consider making small changes to your current role. Maybe there's adjustments that you can make that it would allow you to gain some of these qualifications so that your current role is more related to an actuarial career. All in all, related experience is a really important thing for future actuaries to develop over time. That's why it's a whole block in our study and stack method, and I believe that it can make you one of the best candidates out there. So what's the formula for getting an actuarial job with no experience? Well, you gotta pass some exams, build up your success stack, focus on Excel and programming, apply your skills in the real world, even if it's not an internship, build communication and actuarial understanding, reframe your experience that you do have, and go out and create experience for yourself. And do it all in the limited amount of time that you have each week. Now, I know it seems like a lot, but members of our Actuary Accelerator community prove over and over again that it really is possible. So make sure you go grab the Actuarial Study Strategy Guide in the description. It'll save you hours of study time that you can then use to build up your success stack and actually follow through with this. I want you to be one of our next featured success stories. So go grab it right away and I'll see you in the next video.